What up, this is Rama Screen covering movies, TV, and entertainment, and here's my review of Netflix's new movie, Afterlife of the Party. Hey, before you watch my review, please subscribe to my channel, press that like button, and ring that bell, so you can get notified whenever I post new videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please do so at patreon.com slash ramascreen. That's patreon.com slash ramascreen. Let's rock this. Oh my god, when I first heard the title of this film, I thought this was like some kind of a spin-off of that wretched 2018 comedy, Life of the Party. Ugh, that would have been so awful. Luckily, this is one of those movies about helpful ghosts. The most recent example we've seen was from last year, Endless, remember that? These kinds of movies are few and far between these days, and they're usually designed to be a feel-good, epiphany-fueled tearjerker, and that's exactly what you'll get from Afterlife of the Party. What really makes makes this film work is the Victoria Justice Midori Francis dynamic. Their sharp-witted banters and their surprisingly emotional performances manage to carry the formulaic serviceable narrative all the way to the end zone. Written by Carrie Friedel and directed by Stephen Herrick, party planner and social butterfly Cassie is on top of the world, but a freak accident during her 25th birthday extravaganza brings it all crashing down. Literally, when she finds herself in the waiting room of the afterlife, Cassie meets Val, her guardian angel, who explains that she has five days as an angel in training to make things right on earth with the people who meant the most to her. Her lifelong best friend Lisa, her grieving father, and her estranged mother. To repair those relationships and make it to the big VIP room in the sky, Cassie breaks through the spiritual plane to communicate with Lisa and enlist her help to set things right with everyone. In her journey of reflection and forgiveness, and in true Cassie fashion, a few makeovers and impromptu dance parties along the way, Cassie finds that she might be the one with the most to learn. Starring Victoria Justice, Midori Francis, Robin Scott, Adam Garcia, Gloria Garcia, and Spencer Sutherland. For the most part, this film follows all your typical rules regarding light-hearted ghost rom-com. Especially, you know, the ghost can only communicate with one person, but they can't be seen by others. What is interesting is that Afterlife of the Party does not feature the whole ghost walking through walls or walking through somebody's body and vice versa. That's the only characteristic they leave out. But I totally get it though. All of this stuff has been played out. So there's only so much you can tweak around here and there. After Good Boys and Dash and Lily, I'm confident enough to say that Midori Francis is one of my favorite rising stars. Even though her character in this film is some kind of a nerve wreck museum curator, Midori once again effortlessly lights up the room with energy. And honestly, I never put much thought into Victoria Justice before, but she actually gives a solid performance as Cassie in this film, who basically goes through a humbling process. Victoria will melt your heart in the best ways. Afterlife of the Party is far, far, far away from the words unique and groundbreaking. It's all just a retelling of what's already been done in the helpful ghost tradition but presented in a millennial slash Gen Z packaging. So, if you're in the mood for something sentimental, melancholic, and cathartic, then Afterlife of the Party might just be the movie for you.